Hi everyone, uh, I was listening to the One Year Bible and reading along with it from another YouTuber that I listen to who reads the One Year Bible. Um, it's a I bought this book this year. I'm so happy I did. It's a great book. If anybody wants to uh, read the Bible uh, in a way that's format, formatted to do it in a year, of course, every single year for the rest of our lives, we it's a good idea to read this book it's such a treasure and um, I'm just gonna get right to it it's a little hard because I'm reading it from my phone so please bear with me it just really uh, resonated with me because just so um, just so speak says what is happening in nowadays so that's why I wanted to share and read it with you this is from um, Isaiah Isaiah sorry. This is from Isaiah 5, 20, and here it goes. What sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil, that dark is light and light is dark, that bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. What sorrow for those who are wise in their own eyes and think themselves so clever. What sorrow for those who are heroes at drinking wine and boast about all the alcohol they can hold. They take bribes to let the wicked go free, and they punish the innocent. Therefore, just as fire licks up stubble and dries, dry grass shrivels in the flame, so their roots will rot, and their flowers wither. For they rejected the law of the Lord of heaven's armies. They have despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. That is why the Lord's anger burns against his people and why he has raised his fist to crush them. The mountains tremble and the corpse, corpses of his people litter the streets like garbage. But even the Lord's anger is not satisfied. His fist is still poised to strike. He will send a signal to distant nations far away and whistle to those at the ends of the earth. They will come racing toward Jerusalem. They will not get tired or stumble. They will not stop for rest or sleep. Not a belt will be loose, not a sandal strap broken. Their arrows will be sharp and their bows ready for battle. Sparks will fly from their horses' hooves, and the wheels of the chariots will spin like a whirlwind. They will roar like they will roar like lions, like the strongest of lions. Growling Oh, gotta catch my breath, sorry. <laughs> Growling they will pounce on their victims and carry them off. And no one will be there to rescue them. They will roar over their victims on that day of destruction like roaring of the sea. If someone looks across the land, only darkness and distress will be seen. Even the light will be darkened by the clouds. And also, which spoke for today is Psalm 53, 1-6. Um, for the choir director of meditation, a psalm of David. Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. There are they are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. God looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise. If anyone seeks God, but no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never learn? They eat up my people like bread and wouldn't think of praying to God. Terror will grip them. Terror like they have never known before. God will scatter the bones of your enemies. You will put them to shame, for God has rejected them. Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When God restores his people, Jacob will shout with joy, and Israel will, re will rejoice. And the proverb is, I, I posted this one. I'm on a short, but I'll read it here. Don't cheat your neighbor by, oh no, I didn't post this one. I'm posting it now. Uh, don't cheat your neighbor by moving the ancient boundary markers set up by previous generations. Do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. Proverbs 22, 28 through 29. Um, yeah, this was really uh, a read that really spoke for what's happening today. So I thought I'd share that. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time. And God bless everyone. Bye now.